Hi reception and welcome to lesson two. Now, yesterday, what country did we learn about? China, well done. So, can you tell me any key facts about China? Have a think for me. And shout out any you can remember. Well done, you remembered so many key facts. So, let's go back over the ones I taught you. The capital city of China is Beijing. In China, they speak Mandarin. Dumplings, spring rolls and chow mein are traditional foods in China. In China, they celebrate Chinese New Year and Chinese Lantern Celebration. And the Great Wall of China is one of the seven wonders of the world and is made of stone, brick and wood. Did you remember all of those? Now, this week we're going to keep learning all about China and Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year is celebrated with a very special story called the Great Race. And today you are going to be able to retell that story for me. But first, let's practice our key words. Remember, my turn, your turn, talk to your pencil. OK, New Year. Animals. China. The Great Race. Emperor. Tradition, celebration. Well done, everyone. Now, let's read our book, The Great Race. A long time ago, when the world was still young, in a faraway land shone a late winter sun. The water sparkled in the morning light, the trees swayed in the breeze, Oh, what a sight! High on a mountain, almost touching the sky, lived the Jade Emperor, kind, caring and wise. He took care of the land, the mountains and trees, all of the animals, the skies and the seas. Everyone was happy in the land far away, until a strange noise could be heard one day. The emperor went down to the woods in a hurry. He heard loud voices and began to worry. He came to a clearing where the river ran through and there stood 12 animals making quite a to-do. Why are you making such a loud noise? I cannot hear myself think nor hear my own voice. The animals looked sad, for their emperor was kind, but an answer they were unable to find. The animals explained that it would soon be the new year, and it needed a name before it got here. The name they decided should be an animal, but they shouted and stomped for which one of them after all. The emperor was a very clever man. After some thought, he came up with a plan. We shall have a race to decide a winner. You must get across the deep, cold river. The animals stood all waiting in line, listening and ready for the starting sign. Ready, steady, go! The rat was smart and knew he was small. He needed help, but who should he call? The ox was strong, gentle and kind. Up you go for a comfortable ride. The ox swam across to the other side when the rat jumped off and crossed the finish line. Therefore, the rat was number one and the ox number two. Along came the tiger. He had finished swimming too. The rabbit could not swim, but jumped from rock to rock. 
jump, jump, jump. He did not stop. The dragon came in at number five. What took you so long? You can fly. I had to stop and make it rain. When I was finished, then I came. Snake slithered in at number six and horse followed with a jump and a kick. Numbers eight, nine and ten, rooster, monkey and goat worked together and arrived on a long log boat. The dog came to shore after having a bath. Last came the pig with a snort and a laugh. When finally the race was finished and done, the emperor named each year and everyone. The end. I really hope you enjoyed that story reception talking. Now, can you remember the order of the animals and what number they came in at? Let's have another look, shall we? So rat was number one, then ox number two, three was the tiger, four was the rabbit, five was the dragon, six was the snake, Seven was the horse, eight was the goat, nine was the monkey, ten was the hen, eleven was the dog, and twelve was the pig. Well done everyone. Now can you cut out your characters from the great race and then retell the story using them? You can video yourself doing this and put your version of the story onto Seesaw for me. Have fun. Now, today's fun activity is an experiment with rain. You're going to need one plastic tub and a pen. On your tub, draw some lines and then leave your tub on the ground outside and wait for it to rain. When it starts raining, see how long it takes to go to the first line, the second line and the third line. You can take a picture of your tub and how it changes as the rain comes down. Enjoy everyone.